Chapter 1, Materials Technology, Woodwork 2002, Higher Level. The diagram shows a dimensional isometric drawing of a garden seat made from teak. Prepare to scale a 1 is to 10, an orthographic working drawing of the seat, consisting of a front elevation looking in the direction of arrow A, and an end elevation looking in the direction of arrow B. Four main dimensions must be included. Note that all the material is 70 mm by 40 mm. So if we take this member here, it's 70 mm here in our width, and it's 40 mm here in our depth. We're going to work out where our views are going to go. So our main elevation is looking in the direction of arrow A, and our end view is looking in the direction of arrow B. So if you could imagine holding a torch here and shining it in, in this direction, where is our shadow going to go? It is going to go on this plane here, which is our vertical plane. And that's going to give us our elevation. If we hold a torch and shine it in this direction on our SOLIDWORKS model, where is our projected view going to go? It's going to go on this plane here. So that's going to give us our end view. So that will mean that our elevation is going to go on the left hand side of our page and our end view is going to go on the right hand side of the page. The next thing we'll do is box in our view. So I want to box in my elevation. So if you look at your drawing, the elevation is 1200 millimeters in width and it's also 880 millimeters in height. So on your actual page, that's going to be 120 from here to here and 88 from here to here as our scale is 1 is to 10. The next thing we'll do is draw in our end view. So our overall width of our end view is 670 millimeters. Our overall height of our end view is also 880 millimeters. So that the scale is going to be 67 millimeters here on your actual page and 88 millimeters here on your actual page. We'll put in our detail then of our elevation. So as we said, our elevation is going to be projected onto this view. And that's the way it's going to look there. We'll put in our side members there first. So it's this member here and this member over here. So we know that's 70 millimeters in width. So if we step in then seven millimeters, that's going to give us those two members, our vertical members. The next thing we'll put in is our seat rails, which are here. We know to get our seat rails, we have to come up 380 millimeters from the bottom of our elevation. So if I come up 380 millimeters, I'll have the bottom of this member here, and then we're up another 40 for the top of it, as all the members are 70 by 40 millimeters. Note that we have hidden detail here and hidden detail over here, as this member here is going to be blocking our seat rail in our elevation. The next thing we'll put in is our back rails here. To get your back rail, you're going to come up another 200 millimeters to find the back rail here. From the bottom of this member to the bottom of this member is going to be 200 millimeters. This here then is 70 millimeters. And we carry on and we're going to draw in our top rail. The next thing we want to do is draw in our curve at the top of our top rail. To do this, we must find the center line. And then we need to join two points that will be on the curve, bisect that line, and that's going to find the center. So we join this point here to this point, bisect that line, and that's going to find us the center of that circle. So we put our compass on that center point here, and we scribe our arc. All we need to do then is put on 
our armrest which is here and then we have hidden detail down here at the bottom which is this member here when you look in in your elevation we'll move on then to our end view this line that we're just after drawn in is out 40 millimeters from the edge of our end view there will carry across our projection lines. It's very important that you keep your projection lines very light so you can see the difference between your finish line and your projection line. We'll draw in our armrest here which we carry across from our elevation and then we're going to draw in our vertical member which is this member here. We'll put in this member here in our end view which is up a height of 340 from the bottom of our end view or we can just carry it over there from our elevation. The next thing we have to do is put in our hidden detail. So we can see that this member here which is here in our SOLIDWORKS model is going to be hidden detail and also the bottom back rest is going to be hidden detail here. The last thing left to do then is to put in our seat rail members, which is these three members here. They're 70 millimeters in width and they're 40 millimeters there in their height. And that is the question finished. So these are all our finish lines here.